welcome back to Persona 5. Thanks for all the support. Okay. I appreciate you all. I'm going to need to clean this desk, apparently, finally, because I thought I would never that clean desk. it. desk. Hurry now and clean it up. Why are you rushing, cat? Jeez. I would say I'm not in the mood just because you make me Great. mad. Now you can make things whenever you want. Make things like what? Now you can create infiltration tools at this work desk. I'll provide the materials this time. Try making a lockpick. With necessary materials, you can make various infiltration tools that will be quite useful during palace exploration. Make sure to bring some along. Making tools will cause time to pass, but it will improve your proficiency as well. Each time this ranks up, you can make one additional tool. During bad weather, your focus will allow you to make an additional tool. Check out all the shops to track down various crafting materials. Don't think too hard about it. You'll get the hang of it. Okay, but like, I haven't even been able to explore yet. Silk yarn, plant bomb, smoke screen. Wow, calming aroma. Interesting. Everyone starts off a little clumsy. Don't be sad if it doesn't go well at first, okay? What do you mean? It's like a mini game or something? Oh, okay. I was about to say, y'all better not be playing with Great. Me. We should be able to use this. Yeah. Oh, proficiency. Bumbling. So, so far I'm oblivious, milk a toast. What? Bumbling, inoffensive, and ex existent. Okay, what does milk a toast mean? I have to look stuff up. Like, I'm an English teacher, but I've never heard of the word milk a toast before. Milk a toast. I have to, f maybe it has to be with, like, squeamish, maybe? Milk a toast. A timid or feeble person. Oh, yeah. Guts. Okay, gut. If I'm thinking guts, I'm thinking, like, the stomach, not, like, if you have nerve. Okay, well, I would have figured that out if I had paid attention. You should be ready now. We're heading into the palace tomorrow. Let's get some sleep. Cool. Let's get some sleep. Wait, are we skipping school then? Good morning. Come on, hurry up and get to class. Get the auto on. Good morning. Good morning, bastard. That admirable behavior won't do you any good once you're expelled. Great. Well, that wraps up the homeroom period. <clears throat> A word with you, please? Bitch, leave me alone. There's something I'd like to ask you. What? It won't take long. Mm hmm I see you're already getting on top of the problem I'd mentioned this morning, Miss Kawakami. I appreciate the support. Thank you again. Oh, you know this guy, Yoshizawa? Yes. He lent me a helping hand earlier. Student called Yoshizawa. I recommend you steer clear of the likes of him if you have any consideration for your future. Remember the discussion we just had? There are a number of students in this school you shouldn't get involved with. This one's at the top of the list. Oh, the delinquent transfer student? Sorry to interrupt, but I need to use the guidance office. Oh, pardon me. We should be going, too. Don't want to get in the way of guiding this delinquent and all. Please excuse us. Join my crew. You have red hair. After you. I'm getting tired of these hoes, for real. I'm gonna get straight to the point. Did something happen between you and Mr. Kamoshida? Why do you ask? Well, there was that little exchange just now, but... That's not all. He gave me a brief lecture this morning, and your name came up. Something about the dangers of a lack of supervision. I don't mean to pry, but just make sure you don't go causing trouble, okay? Oh, and one more thing. That girl outside the office? You didn't make a pass at her, did you? Of, of course not. Well. All right. Why would Mr. I? Kamoshida has a real close eye on you. Apparently, you've been getting involved with Sakamoto-kun. You seem acquainted with Yoshizawa-san as well. Maybe you're just naturally drawn to athletes? Sorry, bad joke. 
That's all I wanted to discuss. You're free to go. Girl, you need to get the hell out of my face for real. So I saw Kamashi at the school gate this morning. He was just standing there looking at me with this shit eating grin on his face. Ugh, that's annoying. He was probably mocking you. Honestly, seeing that got me even more fired up about this. We're definitely gonna pull this off. Yeah, I'm worried about Shiho, but I want to concentrate on our operation too. I won't let myself get exhausted like last time. The board meeting's May 2nd, right? We just gotta take care of him before then. I'm ready for this. Same goes for me. Me too. I'll do my best. No going in without me, okay? Yeah, you better let us know if you're going into the palace. Oh, it's 418. It's my in-game birthday, y'all. Happy birthday to me. Turn up. He got in trouble on the first day of school. Oh, yeah, me? Yeah, I did. Those guys are getting expelled. Nobody wants a troublemaker in school. Everyone's got high hopes for the new girl, Yoshizawa-chan. Damn, she's fine. I wonder if I have a shot with her. Really? This is all y'all think about? Jeez. Okay. It's finally time to set the plan in motion. I bet the others are ready to go and waiting on the signal. Well, I'll leave the planning to you. If you cannot execute the plan by the deadline, then it's game over. Keep vigilant and be aware of the time remaining. Palaces contain many strong enemies. Consult with your allies and make use of the various facilities in the city to ensure such successful infiltration. What? When you have some free time and don't know what to do next, press the touchpad to open the assist command. Do what you can do and who you can see. If network functions are on, you can use the D-pad to do the activity log. This will enable you to see what other players are doing this day in the calendar. The activity log is a support tool that can assist you during your free time. If you would like to know more about it, check the corresponding tutorial. Okay, let's see. When you are at a loss, assist commands can give you recommendations based on your current conditions for activities to do and confidants to see. Press triangle to open confidant and assist to see which confidant is recommended for that time of day. Press X to open status assist to see which daily activities are recommended for you. Press square to gather everyone at the hideout. Also, if you have network functionality, you can use the activity log of other players. Let's see what everyone else did. Went to the palace, studied, time with the chemi, everyone's average level seven. And go to language doctor. Oh wait, I don't wanna do that. Study. Okay, can I talk to her? Hey, we're heading in today, right? Yeah. Oh. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? I fucked up, y'all. But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has... Oops. ...that locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Wait, I'm not ready though. Check your progress with the hold meeting option. Listen to your friend's option to decide the best course of action. Selecting infiltrate palace will take you to the palace. You can now purchase items while in the palace, so be sure you're well prepared. It will be nighttime when you run a turn from the palace. The time runs out, it's game over. Keep an eye on time remaining. Let's exit. Huh? I'm not ready, bro. Can I go? I can just hop about. 
I should ask about the enhancing drug I heard I mentioned the other day. Well, what are you here for today? Got any special medicine? Huh? Now I remember you're the kid who was at LeBlanc. Regular medicine won't do the trick. I have my reasons. <laughs> Very well. Just head into the examination room for now. Yes. Oh. That medicine, huh? Oh. What are you trying to do? Look. Kai does not want any sexual activity. It was obvious, actually, you call that hiding. Not that I care, of course. I was going to dispose of that medicine anyway. I got a little too carried away with it. But tell me, why would a high schooler like yourself be so interested in that medicine? It's very strange indeed. You don't seem to be very athletic. So what exactly are you up to? Ooh, steroids? It's for brain power. It's for exam. It's for studying. It's for brain power. Huh? Brain power? Oh, for your interest exams. So you're looking to improve your concentration and reduce fatigue. Hmm, that's not the best idea, but if that's what you want to do. Take care. Then good luck with that. I have no obligation to help you with that. Why don't you have an energy drink or something? I need that medicine. You're really annoying, you know that? The medicine is really expensive, and it's not something a high school can get his hands on. It costs almost as much as a car. Got it? So how about you just go home? Can I work for it? What, like part-time help? Do you consider yourself someone with a good amount of stamina? I admit, I've been looking for a young person around your age to help me out, but I haven't been able to find one even after putting an ad in the paper. Are you up for it? What would I be doing? Do you want to do it or not? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, then. You'll be participating in client tri- Client trials? Hang on. I'll be right back. How much does shit pay? <laughs> Here you go. Worried about the side effects, huh? Well, you can relax. Rest assured, my autopsy is guaranteed to find out exactly what part of it ki- Did you change your mind? What? Aren't you going to take it? The exit's right there if you want to leave. I don't drink this, the Kimmy probably won't sell me her medicine. Ugh. Well, go on. Bottoms up, bitch. What? Huh? I can't believe you actually drank it. What was it? Bitter yet sour. It's beyond description. However, it's something I can't handle. This bitch trying to kill me. Wow, still doing okay? Hmm. Not bad for a high schooler. Uh oh. Well, game over, I guess. This bitch done kill me. Good evening. Good evening. Do you remember anything from the moment you took the medicine until now? Hmm. By the look in your eyes, I'd say you don't. You briefly woke from your coma, but you were completely dazed during the entire examination. You eventually lost consciousness and fell back asleep. Are you out of your mind? Only an idiot would have drank that. I'm not out of my mind. Fine. By the way, the reason you lost consciousness was because of the taste. It produces a foul smell when it mixes with gastric juices, similar to Sir Stroming. Oh well. All that matters is that thanks to you, I was able to get some good data. Well, bitch, okay? how much you gonna pay It's me? my turn to make good on my part of the deal. That's why I waited until you woke up. I don't want the general public to know about my original medicines. So, you're strictly prohibited from disclosing what happens here to anyone. Understood? Sure. Of course. Then it's a deal. As long as you come here for it, I'll give you the medicine at a good price whenever you want. I may even add additional selections in time. I look forward to your continued patronage. I've made a deal with Takemi. So it's like July when this happens, like, oh boy, like, beat the fuck up, man. Considering all the actions you've taken, you must have had someone with medical expertise. Who? 
And how did you treat your wounds? I ain't no snitch. It'll be easy to find out who if we look into this. Okay, scene. well you figure it out. I ain't no snitch. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the death persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Turn up. Increases the section of healing items at the clinic. All right. You unlock the death confidant. Fusing Arcana's the death arcana will now grant you EXP due to Arcana Burst. The chemist will now sell you rejuvenation medicine. So, when can you come back for the next clinical trial? Oh, you don't remember that part either? Well, I was saying that teenage test subjects are quite valuable in the medical research industry. So, I'll provide you the medicine for your entrance exams, and in exchange, you'll be my guinea pig. <sighs> Fine. I have to perfect this medicine. Why? If you're able to move now, you can go home. All right, take care. I feel like coopering in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. I'm still milk a toast. <laughs> How sad. Hey. Oh yeah, I'll contact you when I'm done prepping for the next clinical trial. And then I'll put together some compensation by then for all your efforts today, but you're not getting that in writing. Based on stage results, I think I can whip up some new medicine for next time. Drive by when you're ready for it. Fine by me. Good to hear. You live pretty close, right? You might still feel some dizziness, so take it easy on your way home. All right. I'm not really take in the care. mood to write up an autopsy, so take care of yourself. This bitch really trying to kill me. It's evening time. Hey. You better not be up to any trouble. You make just one mistake and your life's over. Instead of hanging around, you should be studying or something. If there aren't any customers, you can use the shop. Is anywhere fine? <laughs> Within reason, obviously. Don't touch anything in the kitchen. If you're gonna study, you can use that table. Just don't leave the place covered in eraser crumbs, alright? Oh, that's right. One of my customers mentioned that the counter is a pretty comfortable place to read. Well, your time's yours to spend. Just make sure it's after my customers are gone. Or, hey, if you want to clean the shop, I'm not gonna turn you down. The cleaning stuff's in the bathroom. In the evening, you will be able to engage in a variety of activities that will help in your daily life. You can study and improve your knowledge at the table, and at the counter, you can read and learn about various topics. Using the cleaning tools in the restroom will improve your kindness. If you spot a crossword puzzle on the table at the far right or far end, give it a try. If you successfully solve the puzzle, you will improve your knowledge without time passing. So that you can use the booth just in order to clean it afterward, okay? Which booth? This booth? This booth? Yo. You gotta know use that when you wanna study. So then you will cause time to pass, it will improve your knowledge. Bad weather makes it easier to focus and studying on these days will have a greater effect. Plan accordingly plan accordingly, take advantage of such days. Now listen up. You don't have much time for studying when you go out into the world, so study now while you can. What do you want to do? Make sure you close up. Clean up the place when you're done, all right? No. Wow! You can answer these difficult problems. You're amazing. Thanks. My best friend had a pencil pouch like that. It wasn't black, though, or was it? You're making some good progress. I can see the wisdom in your eyes behind those <laughs> glasses. I'm still oblivious. Well then. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. You should stop for today and get some sleep. Is it still evening time? I thought I'd get a girlfriend once I was in high school, but I'm not having any luck at this all. Sucks. Is there something wrong with me? Yes, maybe self-improvement is the answer. Try reading some books. You'll get more than just some knowledge out of them, and it'll make you better in conversation. You'll be more desirable if you're more intelligent. It'll take hard work, though. It won't happen overnight. 
Yeah, but books make me sleepy. Guess I can give it a go though. If it'll help me, if it'll help make me more popular with the ladies. Uh, is a library where you go to borrow books? Nice. Reading books is an important way to expand your mind. Books are great. Oh. I totally agree. You can apparently read for free at the school library, so you should try and take advantage of that. I think there's also a bookstore over on Central Street. Why would I buy books and I could read them at the library in the game? Need my money for guns and shit. Let's get started. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mr. Hidruth, your biology teacher. I've never met this man before. You must be all shocked by what happened with Suzuki. So it was a shock for me too. Although I can relate to how she felt, this man's gay. It's fine though. Her eyes were devoid of life as they looked upon this sad, hopeless world. Well, I suppose everyone views the world differently. Let's have a, t a test. Try to answer this. You there. Me? Take a look at this. I? Between A and B, which line seems longer? They're the same. This is it. You do know. Heh, <laughs> that's correct. It seems your eyes see the truth. This is an optical illusion. Some people see it correctly and some do not. Isn't it strange that they view the same image differently? Humans don't see the world as it is. We simply process visual information with our brain. Wow, really? Oh, I missed that. Nice Why you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that? I mean, I just guessed. Just kidding, I didn't guess what's in that before. Am I still oblivious? Yep, I'm still, oh wow. We have to like go all the way up. How you see the world is nothing more than the trick of the mind. It is all mere cognition. There is no proof that the world that each of us sees is the same. I see. How you see the world depends on your brain's cognition, huh? Optical illusions in the metaverse might be more similar than you think. I love how the cat's talking to me in class. Hey, where are you right now? I'm still in the classroom. I'm still at school too. I'm by the staircase outside your class. Think we should head into the palace today? I haven't decided. Hey, I thought of something the other day when we were running around the palace. Maybe it's because I haven't been moving around as much lately, but I feel like I'm getting weak. We're probably going to run into some pretty tough shadows sometime. We should try to get stronger too. It's sunny outside. Perfect for training. So you want to get your blo blood wow. pumping? Seems like Ruji has a lot on his mind. It's true that training your body will let you be able to move when it counts. Confidants will send invitations to spend time with them via IM. Some messages will be important. You can accept the invitation by responding to the message, but there is no need to reply immediately. Text messages that have not been responded to will have hold by the message. Wait too long to respond and the invitation will expire. Not every IM needs to reply. Accept the invitation from people you're interested in. Okay. I won't have trouble inviting you, so why not listen to what he has to say? Spending time with your confidants after school or at night will deepen your trust in each other. Think carefully about who you will spend your limited time with as you progress through various palaces. So what do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with Ryuji? Let's hang out. Sick. Let's play it out behind the gym. Okay, we should return to your gym clothes first. I figure this will get my level up, right? Hmm. Man, this place brings back memories. This is my secret training spot, or was back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Damn it. Fighting in, fighting in that other world was a total shock. I couldn't move like I used to. It just felt lame. So I started thinking, maybe I need to build up my muscles again. Anything's gonna gotta be better than this flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help a little more. I'm counting on you. <laughs> I'm totally gonna wreck your expectations. Uh, uh, I mean that in a good way. Anyways, you act like it's only me who's gonna be doing this. You're getting in on it. You're getting in Come on it too. Well, I'm so surprised. Why do you think I had you go and change into that? It'd be pointless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? All right, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. Will this take up my level? I ran around the school with Ryuji. Damn, my legs are all tight.
before Kamoshida came along, the track team was the biggest thing this school had going for it, but it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as a sub. Damn it. That bastard. Right from the very start, he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts, and when he couldn't do them, he'd, even, he'd add even more on top of that. Day after day was nothing but that bullshit. He was going after me especially. He knew. He knew I was the kind of guy who'd fight back. <laughs> if my time dropped even a little, he'd cuss me out. Then on top of that, he'd brought up my parents. What about them? <sighs> Truth is, my mom's the only one I got. All my dad did when he was still around was drink. Sometimes he even beat me or my mom. I don't know how that bastard comment she did find out, but he told the whole goddamn team. That's rude. And as you can guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do it, though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Thanks to that, the other guys in the team team treat me like some kind of traitor. And they ain't wrong, because in me, they all lost their shot at the championship. Do you want to go back? Do you regret it? Do you want to go back to the track team? Nah, how could I after that? Come on, don't ask me tough questions like that. I'm not very smart, you know? <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter now. That's all in the past. I'm only thinking about the future now. That's what we're going to do. Build the future. We got to think positive thoughts, brother. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. If negotiation with an upbeat shadow fails, you can try again. All right. Your chariot confidant has increased to rank two. You will now earn more XP from Arcana Burst when choosing personas of the chariot Arcana. Ryuji can now use Punk Talk. All Come right. on, we're all warmed up, right? How about another run? By the way, you're actually pretty good at running. Not as good as me, though. <laughs> Holy crap, my legs are shaking. No collapse on your See way home, man. Later. The real question is... What's up? You get home okay? Didn't trip or anything? But man, I'm so out of shape. Felt like I could barely drag my damn legs up the station steps. This would never happen back then. Ugh, I should have kept up my running. It's never too late, man. Ha! Truth, man. We're only getting started. Let's keep up tomorrow. I'm pretty rusty, but even if it got kind of rough, I had fun. And with you here, I get some friendly competition, too. Plus, we get to talk. So, yeah, I'll catch you later. See ya. Yes, tomorrow I'll hang out with An. Hey. Just because you seem to be taking school seriously don't mean I'm not keeping an eye on you. Got it. I know what's what as soon as I see your grade. When I prove returning over to your leaf, makes it your second best habit after breathing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can get rid of all the crap upstairs. All right. That room needs a good clean anyway. What more can I do? Is this my average level? Like, how do I check that? I could clean up LeBlanc. There's a bathroom. Hey! The chief told you to clean up, so let's get to it. Cats like, I mean, I like cleanliness, plus, there might be some hidden treasure in here, you know? How do I check my level? And then stats? Oh, we're nowhere near. How are people so high? What am I doing wrong? <laughs> oh. You feel like cleaning up now? Let's clean this up. Oh. Oh look, that plant is still alive. We can decorate with it. Nice. Even a dreary room can be brightened up with a little green foliage. Let's take care of this plant so it won't drop and wither away. No, okay. let's, let's let it die. The bookshelves over there are looking a bit messy. Let's clean everything up while we're at it. Sure. That's Politics, law, and philosophy. These all sound like some pretty difficult books. Take one, at least. A little bit of effort will go a long way. Take this too. Should be an easy read, right? I wonder why this one is mixed in with all these difficult books. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Another book? Yeah. This room feels a little more comfortable now. And just as I had predicted, we found a treasure, but... Mm. It's a CRT TV. We can't watch any broadcasts without a tuner. 
It'd be a waste to sort of sit here, though. Is there a place where we can get home appliances for cheap? Well, then. Anyway, good work. Might as well get some sleep while we can. Four twenty, blaze it! Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat for ourselves, and you have a book you haven't finished yet. Now this is nice. Why don't don't you read that book until we get there? Reading will cause time to pass, but finishing a book will grant a variety of benefits. The bookmark icons indicate how much of a book you have completed. Some books are quite challenging and require a certain level of knowledge. May boost. Let's read this one. I get more information about Yongin. Hmm? I've never seen it before. Mm. I wonder if it mentions the block. What does it mention? Oh. So you finished reading Yongcha Walker 4. It didn't mention the Blanc at all. They did write about the batting cages by the grocery store and the bathhouse in the alleyway, though. Without much variety, maybe living in Yongin isn't quite as bad as it seems, huh? You can now quick travel to the bathhouse. You can now quick travel to the batting cages. You should go see what those places are all about sometime. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Please don't make me walk to school. You know I can't do it. You know I can't. You know I can't. Ugh, I spent way too much on new clothes this month. Now I'm broke. Same. Guess you're getting yourself a job. Those job magazines they have at the train station are useful. Maybe I'll swing by the Shibuya Underground and pick one up after school. Then again, work's for losers. Hope I find something easy. Work is for losers. I'm kidding. Make all the money you can while you can. Oh, we went all the way through school. Man, we need cash. Sure, but why bring that up now? Well, we can get all sorts of weapons and meds and shit now, but we can't actually buy any of it without some dough. So we'll earn some. Oh, like it's that easy. We could get part-time jobs. I don't know. Do we have to? Oh, shit. Ushimaru's looking this way. Sorry, gotta drop out of chat for a sec. Bye. I need a good part-time job, though. Mm. If we sell the stuff we find in the palace, we can make some quick scratch for the war funds. But like Lady On said, a part-time job might be the better bet. There are job magazines that should be a station, aren't there? Maybe you should pick one up. Uh, well, I'm going to save the game right here and stop this part. So like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all your friends. Thank you all for the support. I love you all. You're the greatest. Stay saucy. Um, wash your hands. Wash your ass. All that good hygiene stuff. Um, I appreciate um, you all. We're going to talk to him real quick. I'm done for Mr. Kamashita keeps coming after me. And that's it. Stay saucy, y'all. Bye.